What's up everybody, it's Eric at MA Performance and today we're going to give a rundown on the tools that we use to put engines together. So we're going to start on the left and these are really important tools that we use in every engine, feeler gauges and that's measuring the thickness of something whether it's between the rod and the crank or the rings themselves. I use two different styles depending on what I'm doing and then I also have a ring squaring tool that helps me install them into the cylinder bore correctly. I have a hardened pick that I use for installing wrist pin circlips. And then I use different Allen wrenches and different Allen sockets for the different fasteners that we install. And then I have our ring for when we install them onto the pistons. I use an adjustable wrench and a crankshaft bolt for turning the crank over. I use a screwdriver for modifying oil squirters and then a few different extensions depending on what engine you're working on. A nice high quality ratchet that I use for breaking stuff loose and then a high quality torque wrench that I use for final torques and measuring clearances. And then I use a dial caliper for basic measurements and then we have these digital one thousandths of an inch micrometers that we use for measuring pistons and cranks and we transfer those over to bore gauges and we measure our clearance with those. And then once everything's ready and the pistons are ready to install, I use a rubber hammer for installing them and seating the rod caps and seating the crank girdle. And then we have our Weisco piston installer and we use different sizes based off of the size of piston that goes into the engine. And these make it so that when we put the piston in and install it into the bore, it's clean and seamless. So some other things that are required to put an engine together are some supplies, like a high quality engine assembly, lube or grease, some conventional 30 weight motor oil, a cleaner, I use brake clean and an aerosol can, and some shop rags. So that's a general rundown of the tools that we use to put engines together. And if you guys want to see anything else from the engine department, from machining to porting to assembly, let us know down below and make sure to like and subscribe.